evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust. Uh, is it Kicking Dust? Who knows? Anyway, hello. Uh, what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about CPM a little bit. Don't worry, not too much. Um, again, I'm surprised people think I'm being negative to the process. <laughs> Me, negative, I know. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the other fun things going on, and we are going to talk about some other games as well. So uh, hold your horses. No, that's the wrong phrase, isn't it? Saddle up. No, that's wrong again. What am I trying to say? Uh, Grab your balls? No, <laughs> I don't know. What's the phrase? Make a cup of tea and sit back and let's talk some dust. Uh, basically, it's an interesting time at the moment because uh, CPM1 is, uh, I think, voting's open right now. This is, uh, obviously, it's not right now as I say these words into this microphone and go, pit, pit, pit. but it's not far away from being open. Um, and I think it's, what, the 5th today, so by the time this comes out, it could be like 2020, who knows, but um, at, when it's out, it probably means voting is on. So, I am going to make an appeal to you. Go and vote. I know you don't want to. I know, nor do I. It's such a hassle. You've got to log in somewhere, and then you've got to <clears throat> tick a box seven times or three times or whatever, and it's just like, ugh. Do I really want to do this? Well, you should. It's it's one of these things that I think you're really going to get the opportunity to maybe influence a game through your actions um, as much as maybe you can here, I think. To be honest, you know, the CPM candidacy list is quite strong. You know, I don't think you're going to vote anybody bad in. So just, just vote for who you want, dude. Um, you know, I think there's plenty of stuff out there to introduce who the candidates are. I did a video on this. Go check it out. Um, you know, I can't really say much more than that, to be honest. Um, I think it's a great thing to get involved with. And I know CPM Zero had issues, so a lot of people are very negative to the process because of that. But CPM Zero was not elected. It was just a selection of players. So, you know, go and go and vote. Go on. Just pause the video here. I'll just sit here and I'll sip my tea. You'll go, go on, seriously, go and vote. I'm just not going to say anything for about 30 seconds. Just log in, go vote, and I'll sit here and sip my tea. Fucking hell, that's hot. Okay, you voted? Awesome. Who'd you vote for? Really? What did you vote for them for? They're crazy. They're like a loot. No, I'm kidding. Awesome. Go and feel happy with the process and watch a lovely plasma kill like that. Um, and let's carry on with the video. To be honest, I think the CPM zero, uh, CPM one, are going to have quite a challenging time ahead of them. The and this is given by the fact that I was uh, I was on the train to the big smoke, and that's what we call London. Uh, for those of you who aren't in the know, so we're on the on the train to the big smoke, and um, I was reading one of these kind of free papers that you get because most papers are free now because <laughs> the internet has killed the industry. Um, and I was reading about Destiny. And somebody had, it was obviously somebody who maybe was like the, I don't know, the, the woman's empowerment journalist who obviously had nothing to write about this week. So they made her go and look at Destiny because you could tell she wasn't much of a, a fan of gaming because it was all a little bit trolly. And she was basically reviewing Destiny, which apparently has cost 300 million pounds. So that's what, 50? 500 million dollars per chance and she was basically going on about how it's like a, a game that's been developed for 10 years bloody blue and um it was evident that she kind of wasn't too happy <laughs> about games being so heavily invested in and so on and so on you know and it was just it was literally a very difficult kind of read but it kind of sparked my mind to think that if the papers are, you know, by their own volition picking up articles about <clears throat> games like Destiny and the impact that Destiny potentially could bring, bloody blue, then um, that's pretty interesting. I think I, I can't remember many other times, maybe GTA Five, where the widespread media, the the printed media, perchance, have actually said. Oh look, gaming exists, and it's not about you know a group of moody teenagers shooting up a school because of games. That seems to be the go-to position for games. Is you know if you play games, then you're just basically wearing a long trench coat, you've got long hair, you listen to heavy metal music, and you're just you you own a Mac Nine. And uh, see, look at me, I know my guns. And you're about to go and shoot up a school, which is crazy. I mean, it's just it's disappointing if anything, because gaming is one of the most, I think, fastest growing and also one of the most widespread already. Uh, pastimes of people as it goes more and more girl gamers are coming into gaming as well which is great because that's bloody needed seriously it's a sausage fest at the moment so to be honest I think you know it's, it's quite an interesting landscape um, developing about you know destiny particularly 
And I think really you know, the media are taking interest more and more um, in these kind of things. So it's really exciting to see. I'm really quite excited to see this kind of, you know, I was, I was just amazed there was even an article on it. Um, and I think then I kind of was surfing on uh, the BBC website <laughs> at work while I was busy. Yeah, right. And um, I, was, I saw something about how GTA 5 has inspired a load of people to go and do mass murder. So I was like, oh, great, we're back here again. So it was a little bit frustrating. Anyway, look at this. Look at this rodeoing that the judge and I are doing. We, we didn't plan this. We just I, I just jumped on, really. I saw an opportunity. And boom, got a kill. Nice. Do I win something, Jeddak? Do I win something now? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> do I get tickets that I can cash in? Uh, <laughs> but to be honest, you know, the, the reality is, is that there's going to be quite a bit of change, I think, coming forward now from Dust, uh, particularly, I think, with the CPM1 can soon be voted in. Um, with Legion's future still very uncertain, I know we're kind of sat here th all thinking, well, it's going to happen anyway, isn't it, bro? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know, to be honest. I'm, I'm just surprised they've left it... Um, this late to green light it I, I honestly don't know what the delay is here um personally i i'm gonna make myself oh my god did you see that did you see that shot him over the barrier lovely um i think my issue with it is is that they're just see, ccp seems to be really hesitant at the moment and i can kind of get that i think you know that they're, they're focusing a lot of stuff on valkyrie they're focusing an awful lot of their uh, I guess, you know, development on the space side of this. So, you know, maybe, just maybe, um, Legion is kind of a secondary project to them. Oh, I hope I don't. I hope CCP Rouge doesn't hear that because that's the, he, he'll probably hunt me down and and flay me for that. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I honestly am just surprised that, you know, this long after FanFest, we still don't really have uh, a green light for the project. Um, or maybe we do, maybe we just don't know it, yada yada, and I think, okay, fair enough. From my point of view, you know, it, it, it's going to be a, an interesting time for pretty much all YouTubers now, because you've got this huge game that's probably the, one of the biggest games, I think, ever that has come out, which is Destiny, and the question is going to be, well, you know, if you're not playing it, are you missing out? So there's going to be a mass rush to, you know, provide huge quantities of monetized rubbish, for <laughs> that's me being unbiased, by the way, um, of, you know, footage of people playing Destiny, etc., etc. so, you know, there's going to be a tidal wave of this thing now if the game is as good as they're saying it is which you know seems to be the case then it's going to be an interesting um it's going to be an interesting kind of time to see how youtube reacts to it youtube is always a very funny beast because minecraft and you know games like minecrafting as well um have always dominated the airwaves when it comes to content but the reality is is when gta 5 came out that really didn't necessarily hit as strong as it could have whereas DayZ hit massively and it was because it was i guess just a, a great game to watch they you know games like DayZ are, are good on youtube because you could play DayZ for like two hours on your own and never see anything and that's quite fun for you but um the encounters you get are incredibly fun so people want to watch them for that incredible counter whereas dust is easy because everything happens very quickly it's very easy to get a fight it's very easy to do something it's very easy to you know to have stuff happen um, all within the space of 10 minutes and that's that's why it's almost so easy to do these videos because a round is a very formulaic thing of 10 to 15 minutes blah 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 whereas day z you could play for a day and not see anything <laughs> which is always a risk uh to bear in mind but to be honest you know i i'm kind of curious to see how destiny will impact dust i think it probably will um but having said that i think dust is really privileged to have some of the most dedicated gamers out there just because it does have um, you know significant EVE support so there's lots of EVE players playing Dust which is great and I think they could be the ones that carry it through but you know we're gonna play Destiny and we're probably gonna even you know potentially start a new channel for it yeah I know that's crazy isn't it but we've kind of decided not to shit up this channel anymore <laughs> with um, with non Dust focused games and space kind of games so i think destiny will be an interesting one for us but anyway stay tuned keep watching <clears throat> we'll see how it happens i don't know myself really what we're going to um what we're going to do with destiny when it comes out all i know is it's just a massive tidal wave of content uh coming our way that um it looks incredibly exciting so i've got to admit the hype is hitting me now but there we go so you know interesting kind of futures i think you know hopefully that dust you know kind of continues for some time i think it does it, hopefully it settles into more of a groove 
Uh, and I'd really, really be liking to know more about Legion. I think, I, I honestly don't know. People ask me, where are we with Legion? And I'm like, what are you asking me for? I don't know. And the simple premise is, I think nobody knows except, you know, maybe a handful of people. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. By the way, go vote. If you didn't vote when I told you to go vote, go vote now. Seriously, the video's over. Just go and vote. Seriously, go and vote. Go and vote. Seriously, do it. Do it. <laughs>